Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, it's Clash of Wills time, um, and it's time to put out the uh, video for what I've been doing. So um, I've run this a couple of times just to kind of test it out, um, as well as getting my own clear um, using this team, and it's worked pretty well so far. Um, uh, I have really only run into a couple of troubles. Um, it just all depends on like, you know, um, you know, gear and a little bit of variability and damage and stuff like that. But I have done, you know, between 2.56 billion and 2.97 billion, um, using this team. And so we're going to take a look at it now and, um, see what we can't do. So we'll go ahead and go into it and select all of our mods. Um, this clear honestly was kind of based on the, uh, Sinzar's original clear. Um, there are some different, the, the main difference is that I don't have Chizuru on the party. Instead, I have, um, Roberta and, and that of course all boiled down to EX levels. Um, there are also some differences in gear. Um, and so if this ends up working, I will go ahead and show you the party as well, uh, and all the gear. Um, but in general, it, it, it's going to start and look a lot like Sinzar's original clear, just, you know, with a, with a Roberta here instead of a uh, Chizuru. Um, we also, as a result um, of um, some actions that I hope I have cleaned up, um, end up taking an additional turn. But because of that, um, we are going to use the morale ability that lets you uh, become resistant to charm, which is going to be very, very useful. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. And as always, um, I will pop up the um, the action window here so we can see what's going on. There we go. And yeah, here we are. So we're going to start off um, just you know, doing um, Stimulant with Kresnik. Here we go. Sukiko is going to do Blessed, um, Earth Consecration, and Earth Mandala. There we go. Start pushing the morale gauge. Runda's going to guard. Roberta is going to um, do a rousing roar for morale fill, which is one of the nice things about having her on the party is she helps push the morale fill. If you don't have double Sylvie cards or a Vilt card, having her here to help push morale is very useful. Uh, we're going to use support from the skies for Mirage stacks since we're not using Chizuru. Um, she's going to provide us those first Mirage stacks as well as Emissary of Demise, which is going to help her... Um, and Kaito do damage later on in the fight. There we go. Sylvie is going to be giving us all of the defensive stuff that we need. So she's going to give us her Magnus, um, Compassion at Night, and um, the Petals buff. There we go. Pushing that morale gauge. And Kaito is going to shift. And Kaito is going to be using... Um, his crashing waves and then uh, destabilizing and deep submersion just for morale fill and all the stuff that it does. And here we go. So we'll end up there. 64% looks pretty good. Um, and he's going to start hitting Runda, missing five times and then doing some damage. Not too bad though. You'll see I do take quite a bit more than Sinzar did. Um, but that's just gearing and whatnot. Available available TMRs and STMRs really changes that, but we still took less than a less than a fifth of his HP, and we're doing just fine. Auto buffs and all the all, all the things happen here. Um, so we'll go ahead and start our next turn. Kaito is going to shift down and use his Magnus uh, Swelling Current for mitigations and uh, buffs against demons and fairies and Torrential Downpour for even more damage. There we go. And then we're gonna start with everybody else. So Krasnik's going to Stimulant, push the gauge. Runda's gonna guard. Um, Sukiko, if you have it, is going to um, Magic Boost Plus. I happen to have it, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, if you didn't, you could do other things to kind of push the morale gauge, um, but you know, Magic Boost Plus does help her to do more damage, so we're gonna do it. Um, Roberta is going to downshift, and we're going to check and see if we need it yet. But Runda um, is looking pretty good, um, 160 for water, and uh, we're going to be absorbing water this turn anyway, and 55 for wind. So to help us deal with that, we're going to go ahead and triple here. We're going to Rousing Roar. We're going to use a Mega Breath, which is going to um, uh, 
which is going to unlock our quadcast and we're going to ignitas domain or ignitos domain however you want to say it um but before we do paladin sylvie is going to shift and she is going to use her um marion's blessing earth to get rid of the water imbue there we go and then she's going to hit the pal um hit with paladin's cheerful strike twice to fill morale and then roberta and ignitos are going to um, do all the stuff that they're gonna do there we go looking pretty good on morale and now renda notice he is uh he's not dealing with wind in peril anymore all right taking some damage from Runda. not too bad we're in good shape we got all, we got a lot of buffs and stuff happening A lot of physical the first two turns, um, so it's not too bad. Morale fill does morale filling things. Um, we now have Runda's SLB available, so we're going to use that this turn. Krestic is going to again stimulant. Uh, Sukiko is going to again magic boost plus. Roberta is going to use her Dragon's Fury, um, and she's going to that's going to do the big LB buff for the party as well as fill a little bit of morale. Um, Kaito is going to shift back up and apply the um, the big breaks and weapon imperils and then just do like another break and fill morale. There we go. Sylvie is going to downshift and use um, Vines, um, Resolve, and Compassion. So that's for the elemental vines is for wind resistance up resolve is to refill hp and compassion at night is to um heal some hp but also it um it does give you like break immunities and stuff like that or removes breaks there we go uh, and it does give you immunity as well it, it boosts charm resistance for five turns kind of nice um and yeah there we go so compassionate oh we'll do all three of them We'll do all three of them. We'll do um, Vines, Resolve, and Compassionate. Okay, and we're doing Runda's move last. The gauge is pretty full there at this point. We're doing Runda's move last to refill Roberta's LB. If we needed it, Krasnik's LB is gonna get filled up as well. There we go. We don't really need it. It's nice to use him last if you can, if you're using him uh, for his SLB because it does fill the LB gauges. We take some damage from the damage over time. It heals us back up a little bit. We take a little more, we take a little more and stuff gets healed because of the water. We're in good shape though. Now, depending on what items and abilities you have, you could do one of a couple different things. Um, and Oh, Sylvie got hit. That means she's gonna counter and give everybody a re-raise. So we're in good shape now. Um, depending on what gear and abilities you have, you could do one of a couple different things. Um, if you had like Eye of the Dragon um, or uh, other ways of giving your party extreme Nova frames, you could let Kresnik and Runda do that. But I um, did not want to do that. I went ahead and just stuck with Bolting Strike. So Kresnik's going to do Scarlet Wave. Runda's going to do Bolting Strikes from his own kit. Kaito is going to Great Wave Assault, his, his shifted LB. Roberta is going to quad cast her Mystic Breath. There we go. And Tsukiko is going to cap with her LB. Um, so to help us with that, we're going to also, um, we're going to boost up with the morale buffs. So just to get a sense of where we're at, um, Tsukiko is at 11,000 um, magic, which is pretty nice. Uh, Kaito is at 10,500 attack. Roberta is at 11,000. Oh, where is she? 11,395 magic. So we're, we're in a lot, we're in really good shape here as far as like our stats go. Um, and then, you know, Sylvie's gonna give us the big modifier boost from, from Leaping Love. Um, like I said, I have done between, between uh, 2.56 and 2.9, I think it was like 9.4 on the last run that I did, um, billion damage. So we're, we're, we're hitting the damage, the damage cap pretty easily. Um, what I find helps me to do this is I send Kresnik and Runda first, let them build the chain for just like a second. And then I send Roberta and Ignitos and Kaito 
and Tsukiko all at the same time. Um, so we're going to send the left side and then the right side um, about, about a second after. Um, and to me, that seems to do really well. Um, Extreme Nova chains really nicely with Roberta and Ignito's tag chain. So that helps us to chain there. Um, and then Tsukiko just hits the cap. So it goes kind of like this. And there. That was pretty nice. Pretty nice. 2.8. A nice safe cap. Sukiko died. Does not matter. She came back with re-raise because of Sylvie. Um, so we're in good shape there. Um, and we're all set. So we're going to be doing um, the defense morale buff here on turn 5. Just to help everybody live. Runda's going to guard. Kresnik is going to um, medical mastery for the AoE re-raise. Um, and then just a potion and a remedy. Nicely done. Get the morale filled back up too. Sylvie is going to um, use Compassionate Knight, which is going to give charm immunity, um, and then also Petals and Vines, because we need all the resistances we can. There we go. Um, Roberta um, did not die during that last little little bit there, um, so we're going to we can go ahead and Mega Breath now. I'm going to hold off on it. Actually. Yeah, we're going to triple. And we're going to emissary again. Um, and then, because this, this is the way I did it before. We're going to emissary, and then we're just going to um, use aquatic and insect um, for permanent buffs for herself. Last time I did this, she died, so I'm just doing it the way I did it last time. Uh, Kaito is going to downshift and use second charge of his Magnus, um, and then cascading slash and torrential downpour, I think. Where is it? I'm looking at a chart. Magnus downpour and cascade, yep. And Sukiko is going to triple. She's going to um, use the prayer of protection and then prayer of purification two times. And that's gonna fill up the morale gauge, make sure that the boss's morale is nice and low. Alrighty. So what you just saw was us taking some damage from the damage over time and then it getting healed back up because of Kaito's water magnus, letting us absorb water. Very, very useful. It'll be just applied re-raise on everybody because she's OP. Alright. And morale's gonna get pushed back down. We're looking good. Kresnik is going to just do triple stuff, so potion, remedy. Antioxidant, keeping the morale gauge low for the boss. Runda's going to SLB. Sylvie is going to um, Earth Magnus and Cheerful Paladin strike twice. So Blessing of Earth and Cheerful twice. All right. So Kiko, at this point, you could... Um, well, no, actually, at this point, we need to... Um, we need to use Blessed again. Earth Imbue and um, prayer of purification. Next turn is where we're gonna talk about something she could do. All right, Roberta is gonna give us um, Mirage stacks. She's actually gonna do, she's gonna do this in the base form. She's gonna do uh, Mirage stacks, Mega Breath, and Draconic Triune. There we go. Because, uh, actually we're looking pretty good. So, I was gonna say we're gonna get, it's gonna give us a big barrier though, which is good. Um, and Kaito is going to um, shift up and use um, the the breaks and stuff. So the Deadly Stream, Natural Flux, and Crashing Wave. So I have seen Roberta die here, and I've seen her not die here. It can go either way. She died. It's okay. She's going to come back. It's all good. There we go. 
The only the only reason that stinks is that she does not have the earth in view now, and she does not have the um the quad cast unlocked unlocked. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter. She's she's sort of reliant on it, but she's not that reliant on it as well. So triple potion stuff like normal for uh, Kresnik here on turn seven. Uh, Ronda's gonna guard. Um, if you wanted to, um, you know we we've got it. So we'll go ahead and use Ignito's domain. Um, and we will put up uh, magic buff and defense and spirit buffs for her. So all the buffs are, are on for her at this point. Um, so there's that. If you wanted to, you could use magic boost plus to make sure that Sukiko does not die. I don't like to. I like to be safe. Or magic, uh, magic boost to make sure she does more damage. I don't like to. I like, I'd rather guard um, and we're fine this way. Um, Sylvie is going to downshift. Guarding makes sure that she survives. Um, Sylvie's going to downshift and just use uh, Resolve, Petals and Vines. There we go. And Kaito is going to uh, Torrential Downpour and Deep and Destabilizing. And we're going to go ahead and use um, nothing for right now. Okay. Roberta died again, but I believe that Sylvie's going to counter and bring her back, which is important. There we go. So she's back in the fight. Like I said, she does not have her earth in view, but it's not the end of the world. All right, so here's what we're going to do a little bit different. On turn eight, just to make sure we have it, um, we're going to use some buffs. So we're going to use resounding or renouncing will, which is going to give charm immunity to everybody. All right, we're going to go ahead and use resilient will for defense and spirit. We're going to use resounding will for attack and magic buffs. And we're going to just chain the same way we did before um, with Runda um, and Crescent doing bolting strikes. Kaito is going to LB. Roberta is going to triple for Mystic Breath just to help chain, and Tsukiko is going to cap. Now, because we don't have uh, Earth Imbue on Roberta, we're going to do slightly a little bit less damage. Not the end of the world, you know. We're gonna we're gonna take care of that next turn, um, and we're also going to send them a little bit faster together to make sure because we're only triple casting her chain, not quad casting her chain. So we're going to send them a little faster this time. Here's Leaping Love for the modifier boost. We also don't have Roberta's big LB boost, which does make us do slightly less damage. Um, but uh, here we go. Yeah, about 15% left. About what I usually see here. There was a charm. We don't care about charm and we're gutsing some stuff. We're in good shape, though. Here's where we're going to take care of not having the Earth imbue. Um, we're going to hit reload, um, honestly. Here we go, once this all finish, finishes up, okay? Um, we're just going to use the attack and magic buff again. We're going to hit reload, and notice we can't use Kaito's LB or Tsukiko's LB. It's okay. Um, we're going to triple, we're going to gravel egg to make sure that we've got Earth imbue. Um, we're going to use I've Got Your Back on Tsukiko, and then we're just going to um, use Caring Paladin Strike to fill HP and MP. There we go. Now we've got Earth Imbue. Okay, they're looking good. And Kaito is honestly just going to Torrential Blade Storm here, so we're going to be sending pretty much everybody at the same time, um, and this should take care of the last 15%. Yay! We got it. So, nine turns instead of eight turns. You know, it is what it is. It's a rank one is what it is.
as you can see all perfect scores for everything yeah looking good do i want anything new i do not i haven't been farming this event yet so i don't have all the good stuff um, but let's go ahead and show you the team all right so here's kresnik in the base form built for a lot of hp and spirit is wearing Scarlet Wave. You could replace this with Eye of the Dragon if you want to chain Extreme Nova instead. It might make sense to do that since you're doing Kaido and don't have Chizuru on the party. Um, there you go. He's got his own H. He has, he has his own um, Vision card because I do not have Sylvie's uh, two of them. In that case, you also don't have to use dual wielding. And if you're going to use Eye of the Dragon, you don't want to dual wield. You want a single wield. Um, decisions. There you go. Um, shift form is basically the same. He does have more HP with Beast King Flute, and he's also wearing the Treasured Memorial Ring for El Mar uh, Morale Fill on turn one. Otherwise, basically the same. Doesn't have Scarlet Wave. He's got original arrival here. So, there you go. Um, that's Kresnik. Uh, Runda. Built for as much defense and HP as I could put on him. He's got Dancers for Provoke, um, and he's wearing a sword, and he's got all that stuff right um, his resistances are pretty important um, water and earth of course or water and wind very important there he is uh, Sylvie is like this um, and she's dual wielding because she's wearing her own vision card for double morale fill um, otherwise she's built like that there you go lots of guts um, Ooh, for some reason she's not dual wielding there not sure what happened. Something got removed. Um, she should just be wearing the, the Morning Star in both forms. That's kind of weird. Whatever. Uh, Tsukiko. Okay, so she's built for a lot of, as much spirit and HP as we can cram in here to make sure she takes less damage to, to the damage over time and, um, you know, tries to resist as much magic as she can. Um, she's got a little bit of water and earth. Um, yeah. Here's her abilities. Here's her vision card. And then here she is uh, in the shift form for doing damage. There you go. Here's the relevant details. Um, Evo damage and LB damage maxed out. And true double hand, of course. Cool. And Roberta. So she started in the shift form to get a, take advantage of the Celestite rod. So she is wearing a, a, an honorable rod arts to be able to equip rods and then she's got some evasion and she's got some guts um stuff like that i did have you don't need yuna's necklace i, I had this on there before um trying something with like evoke damage but it, it didn't didn't end up working so um the, the other this is just holdover you could replace this very easily and down here she's got you know a couple guts items um and just the ruler stuff she's geared the worst for the killer she's got 125 um, and 225. Um, she is not our main damage dealer, so it is what it is. Uh, she's geared like that. Alrighty, and then Kaito, um, he's geared like this in the base form. Again, uh, trying to cram in spirit and HP, wearing his own TMR um, to help him absorb water naturally. Um, and then there you go. He's got the Chizuru vision card. You could replace this with a Vilk vision card if you had it, um, or anything better. This is just helping out with the killers. And then there he is for uh, shift form. He mainly does breaks and helps chain and stuff like that, but he's still geared for damage as much as I could. And there we go. So that's the team, and there's the espers that everyone's using. So hopefully that is um, helpful and useful to you um, and can help you to get your own rank one. Um, yeah, sometimes you just got to work with what you got. You know, that, that EX16 requirement is a little silly sometimes. So if you don't have the EX levels to run, exactly what you what you want um you know sometimes you can just take chizuru out and put roberta in and still do just fine and half of that i would say is probably just because sukiko is so ridiculous um at this particular clash of wills um but you know if you don't have one unit just try and swap something out something that's pretty comparable or does the same basic thing um you know in this case roberta does evasion or mirage stacks just like chizuru does and buffs and morale fill which is even better um because that with with Roberta on the party, I was able to get morale all the way to zero in a way that I couldn't when I had Shizuru on the party. 
Um, so there it is. Hopefully that helps. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.